Thank you for joining me. If you're listening to this video, you may have a loved one who has suffered a brain injury. Let me introduce you to our website and our services. I'm attorney Woody Igu, founder of BrainInjury.com. I've put together a legal team across the United States and Canada who share my passion for helping the brain injured. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde terrify us. Why? A person goes through a transformation and wakes up as a radically different person in the same body. That same nightmare happens hundreds of times per week to people suffering from traumatic brain injury. It has been said that you are your brain. So when the brain is injured, it literally changes the self, your personality, your social skills, even your morals. It is always devastating to the victim, their families, and friends. As a former National Brain Injury Trial Counsel for the insurance industry, I know that they fight these cases, but I also know how they fight these cases. Millions of dollars are spent each year by the insurance companies to paint traumatic brain injury victims as fakers or as having some psychological problem. How do you make it a fair fight? By using the right information and professionals who know about brain injury. The lawyers at braininjury.com don't chase ambulances, but we do chase down the latest medical articles about the brain. These are only a portion of over the 10,000 medical articles published about brain injury just last year. And you know what? We read a lot of them, and we like doing it. Why? These are the means we use to maximize our clients' cases and to keep defense doctors honest and to destroy outdated old ideas about the brain. Because it's incredible how much our understanding of the brain has changed even in the last 10 years. We now know that our brains are much easier to injure than we used to think. In 2003, people from all over the country began to reach out to BrainInjury.com. I received several calls from Mike Webster, the retired All-Pro Center for the Pittsburgh Steelers, literally one of the toughest guys on earth. But Mike was crying when he called. He was living in his car. He asked me, am I going crazy? It was horrible. He died a year later, and the NFL denied any responsibility for what happened to him. However, Mike left a note behind, a note that said, please, please, look at my brain. Somebody look. There's something wrong. They ultimately did, and his was the very first brain to show the ravages of thousands of helmet hits. He wasn't crazy. He just had the brain of a 90-year-old man. So ask yourself, do you want an attorney representing you and your loved ones who has studied this entire stack of documents, or just a few. Use your brain.